Aloha. You are watching F5 Web Media On Demand. And welcome to In 5 Minutes or Less with Peter Silva. And today I'm going to show you In 5 Minutes or Less how to secure your web applications with the Big IP Access Policy Manager available in version 10.1. So let's start the clock. So I've logged on to a Big IP version 10.1 with the Access Policy Manager loaded on it. And so the first place I'm going to do is Templates and Wizards. Now we introduced the device wizards in version 10 to help simplify the deployment process of the Big IP units. You can see there are three options here, network access for remote access. Uh, this is also a Big IP Edge Gateway device too, by the way. Each one has its description, but I'm going to choose Web Application Access Management for Local Traffic Virtual Servers. And just click Next. If you haven't created a self-IP yet, there would have been a previous screen between that first one and this one where it would have walked you through in creating a self-IP if you still needed to. Say you got a brand new box. You can obviously cancel here, but I'm just going to click Next. Over here on the left, it's a nice summary of the steps you need to take and where you are in the process. And so let's just create this N5 policy. You can see right here, I am going to enable the antivirus check in the access policy. And I can modify that once we're finished here with the wizard. Next, the various default languages. Here I select my authentication. I'm going to choose Active Directory. You could also choose no authentication if you just want the user to fly through and in, but it will still log all that type of activity. Next, the domain controller. Let's put in an address. Let's put in a domain name. I'll just use a 5.com. An admin name. Cookie Monster. That's a real one, by the way. But luckily, the password is hidden. Let's do it again. Next. OK, now we're on step five. We're going to create a new HTTPS server or use an existing one if you have one already created. Let's enter an address. Just put that one in. We're going to do SNAT Automap. And the pool member see what they are. Let's do 189. And we're also going to cre create a redirect, so going from HTTP to a secure HTTPS in this particular instance. And here we get to review all of our settings that we put in. We can go back if you made a mistake or cancel if you just decide. Oop, let's kill that one. If you decide you want to go back or start all over from scratch. Next. And then here we got the summary. So we have the access profile set up with the access policy that automatically was created. Here are the AAA servers that were created for us, the virtual servers that were created, and then the pools that were created. We only have one member. We could have certainly added a number of members as, as needed. Now say we want to edit this access policy. Let's hit that. And this opens the visual policy editor where you're able to create the policies, assign resources, do your authentication from end to end, a nice visual way to do it. And so we selected the antivirus piece, but let's also add, we also want to make sure that they have a firewall. Let's add that item. And so now we have antivirus, firewall, let's do any of these. And we're not going to worry about a version here. Save. And then we get the logon page. So that would be what the user is then presented. We get the Active Directory authentication. And then, as you can see here, they are then allowed to see that virtual server, that web page that we've created, and put some protection in front of it. Now, over here, you can see this is yellow. If we go back to this page and click Finished, and we go to our local traffic and we click virtual servers we can see those two are in there and if we go to access policy and our access profiles here's the in5 policy that's yellow which also matches the yellow here let's click apply policy and you could also do it right here apply access policy 
And so the flag will turn from yellow to green, and you can see here on this screen it's done. And there you have it. How to create the web application. Oh, there's the ring. The web application access management for your local traffic servers, protecting your web application properties, putting some host checks prior to allowing users into certain applications. Thanks for watching. This is Peter Silva for F5 Web Media On Demand and visit us online at www.f5.com.